Well, percussion. As promised, this is the bass drum part. I think uh, the cymbals and, and whatnot, or maybe the tom-tom part in it. If you play a cymbal and have a, a piece of metal, an old, an old bucket, an old lid to something, do not use your mother's new pot lids. That would be very bad. But if you have something that makes a, <coughs> excuse me, an interesting sound that's metallic, go ahead, use it. It doesn't matter. It's, it's more about being able to follow the part and play the rhythm as, uh, as notated. For the bass drum part, I'm going to use a Home Depot bucket. These five gallon buckets work great. Yeah, so it, it makes a makes a cool sound as, as such and it's kind of appropriate. So we'll go from there. All right, so same as the snare drum part. I'm going to we're going to play the first two lines twice, then I'll jump down. We'll play the last two lines twice. The very beginning of the piece so the bell players can play along. I'm going to count you in. And then you have an extra one measure before your part comes in. All right? Make sense? All right, so 60 beats a minute. Here it comes. Ready? At the top, and two. Ready, and go. And one, two, three, four. There you go. So hopefully you were able to follow along with that. Let's try it one more time. All right, don't forget that one extra measure at the top here. All right, you hear me counting along? You should be counting along just like that because your time is so much better when you count along. All right, here we go, ready? And two bass drum part at the top. One and two and ready and go and rest. Two, three, four. Second line, two, three, one, two, and three, two. Ah, not too bad. It's a pretty good sounding uh, Tom Tom bass drum here as we go. All right, here we go. Ready? This is the third and fourth line. So starting out, I think this is measure nine. All right, we're going to take it to the end. Rim, all right, so middle, hit there for the rim. All right, here we go. Measure nine, two, ready? One and two, measure nine and go. And one, two, and three. One and two and three, four. One, two, and three. Last line, two, ready, go. Yeah, just using the very edge here for the rim. All right, let's try that one more time. Starting in your measure nine. Ready? And two. Measure nine and two. And ready and go. And That's it. All right. So hopefully we can get through this and we can play this. If you can, like I told the snare drum part and the bell part, if you can maybe get some earbuds in and get a metronome going, set it for 60 beats a minute. If you can play your part from top to bottom or even, even the first half of it or the second half at 60 beats a minute, we might be able to piece this thing together in kind of a virtual ensemble. We'll see what happens. All right. Good luck. If you have any questions, Send me a message via classroom or have your parents help you uh, email me. All right, thanks.